and welcome to DTW Test Prep. Welcome. All right, today we have a SATNAT problems problem and it's on exponents. Now, look at this question um, carefully with me. It says here, if n raised to the power 3 is equal to x and x and n raised to the power 4 is equal to 20x, where n is greater than 0, what is the value of x? Okay, you usually see this question in the no calculator section of your sat maths, your digital sat math. So, I, I mean, your calculator session, the section, of, okay, you would see this. All right, so how do you do this quickly? You have two equations. This is the first equation, equation one, the second equation, equation two. So this is our first equation, this is our second equation. All right, so when you have these two equations, try to manipulate one that gives you a value that you can impute into the second to get to solve for your answer. Now, let us do this. I, let us look at the first equation, which is n raised to the power 3 equal to x. I can easily make this n raised to the power 4, all right, by doing what? Multiplying both sides by n. So I do times n, and I do x times what? n. So remember in your exponent, when you multiply, what do you do? You add the powers. When the same base multiply, you add the powers. So you have n, 3 plus 1 is 4, equal to, this is xn, all right? Multiply, it gives you xn. So n raised to the power 4 is equal to xn. So I can put xn now as what n raised to the power 4. Do you see that? So this gives me xn is equal to 20x. I can now cancel out x, cancel out, and I'm left with n is equal to 20, which shows me I'm on the right path because of this statement, which says n is greater than zero. All right, so now we know n as 20. Remember, we're looking for x. So don't rush and leave your answer as 20. We're looking for x. So we'll take this now to our first equation. All right, which says n raised to the power 3 is equal to x because we're looking for x. We know our n as 20. So we come here, n raised to the power 3 equal to x. n is what 20, then we raise to the power of 3 equal to x. And what is 20 raised to the power 3? That's 20 times 20 times 20. And this gives us 8,000 equal to x. So our answer here is what x equal to what 8,000. So this is our answer. All right, you see that? Okay, so you see you need the knowledge of your exponents. You also need knowledge of manipulating equations, substituting a value into another equation. All right, so, and uh, you have clues here to also follow where they say n is greater than zero. So you follow all those clues to solve this particular SAT math problem. All right, so thank you for staying tuned to the end. Don't forget to please subscribe to our YouTube channel Give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, family, loved ones, taking the sat mats, all right, soon. And uh, you can also join our Facebook group. You can um, drop your questions, a picture of your maths questions you're having a problem with, and we'll help you out. And if you're interested in online tutoring, please do contact us, all right? This is our email, info at dtwtestprep.com, all right? And you can check our website for other resources. So thank you so much for staying tuned. To today's video and um finally don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please do give your life to christ for he's the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who's going to lead you to heaven after life here there is another life okay after death there is another life please choose jesus for he will lead you to heaven at last to eternal life and it doesn't just do only that. Even right here on earth, where you when you make him your Lord and personal Savior, you know, he gives you peace, he gives you wealth, he gives you joy here on earth. Everything is in Jesus. Come to him, surrender it to, to him today. Follow his ways and he will bless you. All right, thank you and see you in our next video. You are destined to win in your forthcoming SAT maths exam and also in life. See you soon.